Hi, this is Scott Scanlon on how does a seller owner carry back work. A seller or owner carry back is where the owner actually carries back a portion or all of the financing. I've got a great example here on the whiteboard and what we did for this example is a $250,000 purchase price. Now that's 100% obviously of the purchase price. Typically on a owner seller carry back you're going to have to bring in a first mortgage and you're going to have to bring in a down payment. So this example, we said that you're bringing in a down payment of 10%, which is $25,000. You're uh, getting financing for a first mortgage of 80% of the purchase price. So you're bringing in a total of $225,000 worth of financing and down payment there. What you're then going to ask the owner to do is carry back the remainder, which is, that's where the uh, term carry back comes from. But you're going to ask the owner to carry back 10% in this example, which is $25,000. Um, so if you look at this, what the total financing on the property would be, would be a $200,000 first mortgage from like a bank, and then a $25,000 second mortgage from the owner. Now, what is the financing going to be on that? You know, that's where you negotiate it. Typically, it's going to be what a standard second mortgage would be, or a little bit more, which would be anywhere from the 10 to 20% range, given the laws in your state and, and the, the usury laws that you have to abide by. If you're looking for more information about uh, seller or owner carryback, the best thing to do is visit my website, howtobuyownerfinancehomes.com, and you'll get a, a video series about owner financing and seller carrybacks.